It was a pretty, pretty miserable day here in Los Angeles. We had an, another wildfire. It broke out in the middle of the night last night. Thousands of people had to be evacuated from their homes. Even LeBron James had to flee his home. He went on Twitter. He wrote, man, these L.A. fires are no joke. Had to emergency evacuate my house, and I've been driving around with my family trying to get rooms. No luck so far. <laughs> LeBron did finally find a place to... I feel like LeBron could have knocked on any door in L.A. And be like, yeah, sure, stay for, stay for Taco Tuesday. We, but... We send our best to those displaced by the fires here and up north. This has become an annual tradition. Every October, we travel to Brooklyn. When we come back, the whole place is on fire. <laughs> this is our first show home after a week-long residency at the Brooklyn Academy of Music last week. And I love L.A., I really do, but it was nice to go a whole week without seeing a, a dog in a purse. It really was. <laughs> Guillermo, you had fun in Brooklyn, oh, right? Oh, yeah, a lot of fun, Jimmy. Yeah, how many, how much... <laughs> Did you weigh yourself when you got home? No, not yet. I'm you, afraid. Not yet? No, I'm afraid. Do you have any guesses as to how much you gained? Uh, maybe six, seven pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, we're like a couple of pinatas running around Brooklyn. Just... <laughs> uh, President Trump took a little field trip last night to game five of the World Series between the Astros and the Washington Nationals in D.C. This was his first appearance at a baseball game since taking office. And take a look at this Diamond Vision moment. Because... <laughs> Now look at, watch how happy he is when he notices he's on screen. There we am. <laughs> and now keep going. And then the blues come in. And just watch him. That's, you know, it's, it's probably a, a fake booze is what it is. But. Usually to get booed that much at a sporting event in Washington, D.C., you have to play for the Redskins, but somehow... <laughs> I guess the orange skins qualify as well. <laughs> it was not a friendly crowd for Trump. There were a number of impeach signs in the crowd, and the fans even broke into their own version of one of his favorite chants. <laughs> You know he's going to be throwing himself a big rally in Alabama after that to make him feel great again. But, but it was a better weekend than most of them for the president. We knew something was up on Saturday night when he posted this cryptic message. Something very big has just happened. And, of course, <laughs> we were all wondering, what could this be? Was, I don't know, Kid Rock named Secretary of State? <laughs> Did Popeyes come out with a new type of chicken sandwich? The suspense was almost unbearable, and then Sunday morning, just as the morning news shows went on the air, uh, Trump announced that U.S. Special Forces had killed the leader of ISIS, the world's most wanted terrorist. Uh, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is Baghdadi now, and they got him <laughs> during a raid in Syria. Now, President Trump was reportedly golfing when they went in. The raid started at 3.30 p.m. According to his schedule, Trump was playing golf at his course in Northern Virginia Saturday until a little after 3. Didn't make it back to the White House until 4.18. But here's my bet on that. Now, I don't know, but there's no way the military told him what day this raid was happening, right? Because he immediately would have tweeted, guess what's going on? Was, I mean... And this is just a guess, but I think he okayed the idea of a raid, and he started it without him, the same way you don't tell Grandpa about a surprise party. Right? <laughs> Either way, the White House released this photo. This photo was taken at 5.05, about an hour and a half after the raid started. You can see here the president and his team watching or pretending to watch from the Situation Room, <laughs> which is a mess, by the way. Their next mission should be to send Marie Kondo in there to straighten those cables up. But so the next morning, after they got the guy, you know he was so happy. A triumphant president addressed the nation to share this very good news in a surprisingly tasteful and, dare I say, presidential way. Baghdadi and the losers who worked for him. <laughs> and losers they are. They had no idea what they were getting into. In some cases, they were very frightened puppies. <laughs> Wait. Wait, he's killing puppies now? Because... He died like a dog. He died like a coward. He was whimpering, screaming, and crying. <laughs> what is... He died like a dog. What does that even mean, he died like a... 
He accidentally ate one of those giant-sized Hershey bars? What happened? <laughs> This stuff about crying and, and whimpering is an unusually specific detail for a president to share. So a reporter followed up to ask how specifically he knew that. You mentioned whimpering. Could you hear that on your video hookup? Mentioned the whimpering of uh, Baghdadi. Uh, I don't want to talk about it, okay. but uh, <laughs> he was screaming, crying, and whimpering. All right, so he probably... <laughs> Maybe he imagined that. I don't know. The defense secretary and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff said they didn't hear whimpering. Maybe he was hearing Mike Pence whimpering in the corner. Is that possible? <laughs> the president was all over the place. He was in full brag daddy mode. He even went so far as to compare the terrorist to himself. You know, these people are very smart. They're not into the use of cell phones anymore. They're not. They're very technically brilliant. You know, they use the internet better than almost anybody in the world, perhaps other than Donald Trump. <laughs> so if you're keeping score, the top two users of the internet are number one, Donald Trump, and number two, ISIS. <laughs> maybe we do need to log them up. It's, maybe that's... Trump went on to say, uh, he's had his sights set on al-Baghdadi for some time now, which is why he was so excited to get this done. I've been looking at this for three years. They'd come in, sir, we have somebody under... I said, I don't want somebody. I want al-Baghdadi. That's the one I want. They say, well, we have somebody else. I said, that's great. Fine. Take him out. But I want al-Baghdadi. That's who I want. I don't want other people. And then I also wanted Hamza bin Laden, because he's a young man, around 30, looks just like his father, Tall, very handsome. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's like, it's as if he's, he's booking a new season of The Celebrity Apprentice. <laughs> he's a lot like his father, he's tall, very... And by the way, before he takes too much credit for this, Donald Trump should probably read these tweets from someone named Donald Trump, who in 2012 tweeted, Obama deserves much less credit for the killing of bin Laden. The praise goes to our brave military intelligence officers. Why don't we ask the Navy SEALs who killed bin Laden? They don't seem to be happy with Obama claiming credit. All he did is say OK. And stop congratulating Obama for killing Osama bin Laden. The Navy SEALs killed bin Laden. See, there's no one better at using the Internet than him. <laughs> you think he even... You think he even knows he wrote that stuff? But by the way, when Obama went on TV to announce that they'd killed bin Laden, he spoke for nine and a half minutes. Trump yesterday did 48 minutes on this. And for further comparison, we thought it might be fun to mash up Trump's speech about al-Baghdadi with Obama's about bin Laden, and we were right, it was. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi is dead. The United States launched a targeted operation against that compound. They did a lot of shooting, and they did a lot of blasting, even not going through the front door. You know, you think you go through the door. If you're a normal person, you say, knock, knock, may I come in? After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden and took custody of his body. He died like a dog. But his death does not mark the end of our effort. A beautiful dog. We give thanks for the men who carried out this operation. And I don't get any credit for this, but that's okay. I never do. <laughs> but here we are. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. And I'm writing a book. <laughs> I think I wrote 12 books. All did very well. I, don't, I miss Mom's old boyfriend. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the Internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.